Well, I'm excited to be here and see all of you, and I have some, you know, wonderful news to tell you. We can all live to be 100 without cancer, without strokes or dementia, without heart disease. Nutritional science has made radical advances in the last few decades. We can have the healthiest population ever possible in human history. This is an unprecedented unprecedented opportunity in human history for us to take advantage of these modern advances. So how many people out there want never to have a heart attack or a stroke, never to get demented, not to get cancer, don't raise your hand yet, but are willing to do what it takes to achieve those optimal ideals and promises, willing to do what it takes. And before you raise your hand, that means you have to earn a normal blood pressure without medication, a normal blood glucose without drugs, a normal cholesterol without medication, and you have to achieve an optimal body weight at the same time. You have to do what it takes to make those achievements without taking drugs to cover them up. The more medications you're on, the more risk you are of having cancer or heart attack actually happen. So now, how many people are willing to do that to achieve optimal health? All right. You guys are right up my alley. You know, because let me ask you a question. Before we get started with this lecture, we have a really exciting presentation plan. Before we get started, I want to ask you a question. How many people here know somebody in their family, in their family who's been stabbed by a knife? Raise your hand. Three people. How about shot by a bullet in their torso? Or the, Raise your hand. Four people. I've got a thousand that are here. Not bad. All right, now, let me ask you another question. How many people do you know have either had a heart attack or gotten cancer or a stroke, raise your hand. Like 500 people raised their hand. That's a neighborhood you shouldn't want to live in. Get away from there, get out of there. Dangerous. I'm gonna give you superpowers today. You know what I mean by superpowers? Here's a superpower I'm gonna give you. Really, this is serious stuff. What good are superpowers to fly through the air or shoot lightning bolts out of your eyes or to melt steel with your bare hands or whatever you could do if we're not being invaded by aliens and other superpowered creatures aren't fighting us? Those superpowers aren't even worth anything. Here's the superpowers that really are valuable to your life. If you really take this information to heart, I'm going to give you the power to protect yourself from the diseases that plague other Americans, to not have heart attacks, strokes, dementia, and cancer and to put the oxygen mask on yourself first and to be able to articulate this information clearly to influence others to save their lives. I'm gonna give you the superpower to have love and kindness and heal and help other people and save them from undergoing a tragic um, consequence, putting people in nursing homes after strokes and dementia, ruining families and destroying people and taking away their parents. And we have the most growing industry in America today is putting people in nursing homes with strokes under the age of 60 now. In the fast food desert areas of this country where produce is not available, we have seven times the incidence of strokes before age 45 in those areas. So what I'm saying to you today is that this is information that's critical for all, all Americans. And I'm glad you're here learning this with me. I'm glad we're gonna go through these basic principles to give you a better understanding so you can protect your own life and help me spread this information to save other lives. Do you got it now what I'm here for? Yeah. All right, it's gonna empower you. Thank you. So you ready to get started? Okay, let's get started then. Boom. Food gives us two types of nutrients. The first nutrient in food are macronutrients. The word macro means large, and these macronutrients contain calories. They're fat, carbohydrate, and protein. And here's the thing. The more calories you eat in life, the shorter your lifespan. Americans eat too much fat, they eat too much protein, they eat too much carbohydrate. Now, the only thing ever been proven in the history of science to radically extend lifespan of all species of animals, including primates and humans. Only one thing's ever been proven over and over again, held up to be accurate and true in every study ever tested. And that is, and I'm gonna repeat this a few times in this presentation, so you're gonna get this. And that is moderate caloric restriction in an environment of micronutrient excellence. That means Micronutrients do not contain calories. They're vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, and antioxidants. That means if you want to slow the aging process and be 80 years old with the 
body of a 60-year-old and have your mind and not age your brain and have your full mental faculties through life and you want to push the envelope of human longevity to 100 or beyond, you have to be very careful to meet your micronutrient needs and not, ex not take in excessive amounts of calories. Now, by the way, if you have micronutrient excellence, here's the kicker. It suppresses the appetite. It makes you not want to overeat. Whereas if you have what's ubiquitously across America, mild, moderate to, sev to severe micronutrient deficiencies, it drives emotional overeating, food cravings, excessive calorie consumption, and you can't stop being an overeating machine. So what percent of Americans are overweight, would you say? Somebody yell out a guess. 70%, you say, some of you say. Pretty good guess. But you see, the health authorities told you that. It's not true because they use a BMI of 25, above 25 is the demarcation line to differentiate a person of normal weight to be overweight. Whereas all long-lived societies around the world, all people who have the most centenarians, all have BMIs 23 and below, not 25 and below. If we use 23 as the demarcation line, not 25, then we classify 89% of Americans as overweight, not 70%. Did you got that now? Okay, now let's look at that 11% that are so-called normal weight. Because 9% out of those 11 are alcoholics, cigarette smokers, have autoimmune conditions, digestive disorders, occult cancers, depression, or other mental disease, or, or some other serious illnesses keeping them thin. Did you follow that? It's less than 2% of Americans are at their normal body weight because they eat healthy and exercise regularly. If you're healthy, and you're eating anything like other Americans eat, you're supposed to be overweight, and if you're not, you're sick. Any study looking at the normal weight people in America are going to find the sickest populations in America are normal weights. The only way to achieve an optimal weight and keep it there for the rest of your life is better. <laughs>